Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're eating some kind of weird bug thing in Seoul, South Korea. On this show, I travel the globe unraveling the mysteries behind some of the world's strangest foods. So when I eat a testicle soup or a penis fish, at least I can hold out hope that it will cure my lifelong impotence. But when I see people eating this next food, all I can think to ask is why. Why do you eat Korean food? Korean food is good for your health. It's 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 good for your health. In Korean, bandegi literally means pupa. Now, if you don't recall from your 8th grade life science class, silk moths begin as eggs, hatch into wormy, crawly larvae, and eventually make a cocoon where they enter that not-quite-a-worm, not-quite-a-moth stage. This is called a pupa. And people eat it because, well, maybe this lady knows. Uh, Today we're in Namdae Moon Market in Seoul, South Korea, a famous market where people come to haggle prices over various wares with battle-hardened women who aren't afraid to hurt your feelings. You go on there. One one. How about o chun one? Yuk chun one. Chil chun one. Pal chun. Bu chun. One one. Okay. Nice. Hi, I just bought bandegi, also known as silkworm pupa. Um, I got a giant cup of it. I don't know if I needed that much. Luckily, I have a toothpick, so I can eat one at a time. Silkworm pupa are not only eaten in Korea, but also in Japan, Vietnam, China, and other countries where eating bugs, quote, ain't no thing. I don't want to eat it. Did it happen? All around the market, the smell of bandegi clings to the air, luring in people who seem to like that sort of thing. Okay, let's give it a smell. Ugh, it's pungent. It's like you've boiled a mattress for five hours. Oh my God. Oh, 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 why? <laughs> if you haven't grown up with this, I don't think you can eat this. But there's no, they're not just like, uh, oh, once they're 25, they start eating it. Bandagi Joel? Joel. Got a disconcerting crunch. It's very exoskeleton y, I would say. It's, so it's got a crunch and a gush. And you don't want that together in anything. Soju. Soju. <laughs> For the taste itself, it's kind of like a smoky, mattressy taste. Oh god, this is a huge one. Look how big that is. Guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can actually win this can of Bundegi. I am literally going to mail it to you. All you have to do is share this video from my Facebook page. Do not miss out on this opportunity. I'll be real honest here. This is not going on my top 10. Uh, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of bugs. Can bundegi is a refreshing treat for any time of the day. Plus, now it comes in a can, so it can stay fresh anywhere between two weeks and eight years. I get it. I have over 10,000 subscribers. We can't get a better sponsor than cans of bugs. Yeah, I get we need to start small, but we couldn't get like a sunglasses company or Pepto-Bismol. It's a comedy travel food review show. No one is doing this. They're not even giving me money, just free cans of silkworm pupa. What the f That's awesome. How many cans can I get? 